So I finally got a chance to rest my reviewing eyeballs on the pilot episode of NBC's Manifest, their missing plane thriller series that just started tonight, though I believe there were other opportunities to watch it beforehand. And let me just say, after weeks of promotion, advertising, publicity across all of NBC Universal's platforms, I have to say, uh, it was okay. Um, it, let me give you my overall review of it in a few minutes. Let me touch upon some of the pros because unfortunately I think the cons kind of outweigh everything. Now for those of you who know, I have a very hard and fast rule for pilots. I am more lenient understanding. I'm looking for you to establish characters. I'm looking for you to establish storyline and give me a little interesting backstory. That's all I'm looking for. I'm not looking for miracles. I'm going to give you time to work if you meet those basics. Unfortunately, Manifest really didn't do that for me. But again, starting with the pros. Uh, Michaela and Ben, I love the fact that they had a brother and sister dynamic. That they weren't going to be leads who were going to eventually fall in love with each other. I'm glad that was taken off the table right from the start. Nice touch. Uh, I, I think the reunion scene at the hangar in the airport, the contrasting of the heartbreak of Michaela with the happiness of everybody else, again, I thought was a very nice touch and they didn't linger on it too long. I thought, again, very, very good move. The voiceover, I thought, really worked, and I thought M Michaela being the one doing the voiceover, I thought, made it much more effective until the very end. It just kind of reminded me at the end, it reminded me of one of those, like, but then we would be happy, and then the narrator would come in and be like, they were not happy. Uh, and just the way it kind of ended, I was like, oh, I just kind of wish we hadn't done one of those, like, dun-dun-dun moments. Um, and also, uh, just the idea of the voices giving them senses of action or premonition on what they should do, and the idea of that these voices and these connections that are connecting them all together. And I believe there was a uh, instance between Cal and let me sure I get the right uh, Sanvi, where it almost seemed a little ominous. And I don't know if maybe if I was reading a little too much into it or not, but I really liked that aspect of it. So I thought those were very interesting things and things to work off of. Now, unfortunately, the cons, uh, we're going to start from the very beginning. Southern we Sudden weather surge. I know as viewers, we're not supposed to believe it because we know what's going on. I don't know how anybody on the plane was okay with that. I don't even know how the pilots would be okay with it. Because if they even felt or saw half of what we were feeling or seeing just as viewers, yeah, I I'm finding that a little, little, little tough to believe. Um, the investigator in the very beginning just kind of... It just takes one person to ask a question and you just kind of own up and give them all the information they need. You haven't looked into these people. You don't know what's going on with them or anything like that. And it's just kind of like, well, now that you asked and I've been here for 10 seconds. Oh, by the way, you've been gone for five years. We don't know what's going on and everything like that. Just thought I'd tell you. It just can, didn't buy into it from an investigative standpoint when we see in the real world how everything just gets so locked down. Uh, Michaela and Detective Vasquez... It, it seems like it's the standard storyline of, oh, couldn't wait five years, moved on, he ended up marrying uh, her best friend. It, but let, let's be honest, I, I, maybe it's just me, but I felt there was just no chemistry between them whatsoever. Even at that last scene where he just, when he really hits her, I don't even remember because it, it was just, it came across such a forced compliment that I, I just, that took me completely out of the moment, out of the element. It just seemed, again, very bad, cheesy, cliche noir. And, and by the way, can can we just eventually have a female detective who's happy? And maybe not just happy, but just has like a normal life. Maybe not just grand grandiose, but also not swinging back a bottle of Jack every other day. I just think I'd, I'd really appreciate that on a side note. Um, Sanvi's scene where she's making the case to get Cal put onto the, um, onto the trial. Uh, again, first, I didn't think she fought hard enough in front of the room, and then that confrontation with her, with her mentor, and I'm assuming uh, not really boss, I could say, it's a co co investor, but it just seemed very cheesy and forced, and a little too rah rah rah. I was expecting the U.S. flag to drop down and everybody start saluting. So it really, again, it was just one of those. Oh, it reminded me like I was watching a network show. Um, shruggable characters so far. I know we're going to get to uh, meet a lot of the other characters in the episodes coming up, and I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, but so far in this first episode, I found them to be very shruggable. The the actor who plays Ben, I can't remember his name offhand, and said something. Um, I, I, again, I'm hoping something more from him. If he's supposed to be our Jack from Lost, then I'm just not buying it. Michaela's clearly our Jack. Uh, ben just so far is coming across very, very disposable is probably the best way to put it. And then again, like I said, you can't help it with the Lost reference. Um, just it seems like it's the anti-Lost. Instead of, you know, plane crash on island, instead of it's plane, and then we're going to separate everybody up, which I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea. And then we got the numbers and everything else. I, again, I guess the only thing I can say overall for this series and, and why I 
would say is if you were somebody who's entering into the conspiracy genre type programming, this might be a good starter one for you. I would have loved this show in like 2003, and I know that sounds harsh. It's just that it's a cool concept. I think it could go very well if NBC bucks the tradition of networks and actually gives it a time to grow instead of just giving it eight episodes and killing it. Um, it's just tough in this day and age of, of streaming services and cable and everybody else and the stuff that they've been bringing us for me to be jumping on board with this as with both feet and as hard as I want to. Will I check out the sep second episode? Possibly, but I'm not sure. And I think that was my biggest concern with this episode is that it didn't meet the basic criteria. I didn't have a lot of characters that I was really rooting for. I didn't have a storyline that caught me, interested me, or offered me any twist that I found it interesting. And there wasn't a whole lot that really keeps me wanting to come back and tune in. So in regards to NBC's manifest, um, give it a shot because I'd love for you guys to let me know what you think about the pilot episode and run. Um, but I, I have to say I'm going to be booking flights uh, somewhere else.